Hi, and welcome back. I'm Clifton3D, and today we're going to talk about an article that I saw that came out last night. I would have probably made an impromptu video about this. However, yesterday I was so swamped with work, there was just no way of me getting to video. So I apologize for that. However, let's get in this today. Now, on The Hollywood Reporter, the new Lord of the Rings movies in the works at Warner's New Line. All right, so uh, the multi-year pact with rights holders Embracer Group AB allows Warner's to develop featured based on features based on J.J.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings books and The Hobbit. That sounds a whole lot better than I know. I, I know there was like a whole right thing. That's too high for me. I don't know who has the rights for what. Like, I could probably go look it up and find out. I just remember there being a, a big talk about who has what rights as Amazon was developing uh, their horrible mess. Ooh. I remember watching the first episode to be like, yes, I, I gave it a try. Glad I I was not making YouTube videos at the time and needed to review them. Holy anyway, Embracer Group, the Swedish gaming company, acquired the rights to produce Lord of the Rings films, games, merchandise, theme park attractions, and live product productions when it purchased rights holders. Middle Earth Enterprises last year from anyway. So, now there's a whole article about Warner Brothers' new CEO, Zasloff, and uh, their earnings and moving forward with the IPs that they have, and um, wanting to go back to making money. Apparently, that's something. Now, uh, here they also have Peter Jackson's directed uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy released from 2001 to 2003. The series earned and combined 2.9 million at the box office with 2003's Return of the King winning the Oscar for Best Picture. Jackson returned to, re re to direct the Hobbit trilogy. New Line already had the animated feature, The War of the, of the Roarum. I have to probably check that out. I heard it's actually pretty good. I don't know. If you know, let me know down in the comments below, and I will definitely read it and check it out. Um, oh, on the calendar for 2024. Okay, whatever. In a statement, Jackson and his Lord of the Rings partners Brian Walsh and Philippa Boyens noted they were aware of the latest development. Said the trio, Warner Bros. and Embracer have kept us in the loop every step of the way. We look forward to speaking with them further to hear their vision for the franchise moving forward. Jackson previously noted that Amazon asked him to be involved in its Lord of the Rings TV show, but then did not follow up. Now, of course, they didn't follow up because they wanted to make a mockery out of it. And I'm damn glad Peter Jackson is not connected to that anyway, whatsoever. That it's a total mess. And anyway, that being said, it's, it sounds like it's a very smart move. It sounds like they could go in and just obliterate the Rings of Power. Like, just give Amazon a big F you and, and make great movies. I hope they do. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I'm on the fence with Warner Brothers. Like, there are some good things that they're bringing out, but there are also, you know, and there is a lot of crap out there. And so we we just have to see how things are going to go. 
I hope it's great. I hope that they put out something awesome. I really do hope so. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Are you interested in a Warner Brothers new Lord of the Rings? What do you think they're going to be working on? Do you, have you read any of the books that you think should be turned into movies or anything? Just let me know down in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. All right, until next time, take care.